Hey, it's Imogene at Eggwell Farm. Thought you might like to see some babies hatching. It's a splash orpington. Come on, focus. There we go, just in time too. I don't know why these things blur off on you sometimes. Come on out, baby. Come on, wake up. Wake up. Come on. Come on. Here, maybe it needs a cheerleader. There, tell your sister to get out. That is a splash orpington. And this in this egg is a splash orpington. Come on. Look at his little beak. Oh. Come on out, baby. Come on, wake up. Wake up. We're waiting on you. Come on, wake up. Don't go to sleep. Tell it, big sis. Tell it. Come on out. Tell it, come out. Come on, sis. Tell it. I don't know if you know this, but when other chicks is on the outside chirping, it, it, it helps to encourage the chicks and the eggs to come out. Aw, come on, baby. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Come on. Come on, get out. Yes. Tell it, sis. Tell it to come out. Talk to it. She is a beauty. Tell your little sister to come out there. Come on. And right here's another one that's coming out. It looks like it's having a little rough time. I'm going to help it out in a minute. You can tell when they're having a rough time because, uh, well, I'll show you the difference right here. This one's having an easy time. See how clean the uh, liner on the inside here looks and it just looks like it's just cutting in half real smooth she's going all the way around like a little jigsaw she's just pushing her head and it's kind of, it, pushing her legs and it's making her head push against the top and it's just coming on out talk to it little sis tell it to come or big sis Come on, baby. Come on out. It's coming. Okay. I see it's got its rip all the way around now. Looky there. Uh-oh, big sis, you're getting in the way. We can't see. There we go. It's coming. Oh, look at there. It's pushing its whole body out now. Come on now, baby. Oh, look at there. It pushed its all. It pushed it all, itself all the way out. Look at that. These little brown things right here are um, shells from other hatchings, from my copper moran. See, they have dark shells. Isn't that something? And see its little navel cord right there? Now this guy's having a rough time, you can tell, because it looks like the liner is all dried up there, and it's starting to get yellow looking, and I'm going to help crack it out. Just wanted to let you see. I'm cracking it out, see? It looks perfectly fine. 
It just needed a little help. You can tell when they need help. It just looks like it's just drying up on them, turning into glue, and we can't let that happen. Precious little things. Mommy's babies. You my babies. Yes, you are. Mommy, take care of them babies. Yes, I will. I ain't touching it. Not when they're like that. Look. I got gloves for that. There's the other one. We're going to put them back in this drawer and let them dry out for a bit. I always put napkins on these things because uh, this is a um, GQ Elf incubator and they have these long trays and this little wire right here I've had one to put its leg through that little wire and when I sit it on the table it just almost cut it cut its leg off so I'm not taking any chances I'm putting napkins down where that their little legs can't get outside that wire Okay, now you can see right here what color egg that, there's another one hatching. What color eggs the Orpheans have, they're kind of pinkish looking. This is what that one just come out of, if my camera would work right. They're kind of pink, they look pink to me. And that's what the Well Summers comes out of, and the Copper Moran's right there, and Americana's right here. Okay, I gotta get these little guys into the uh, back in the incubator. I mean, not incubator, but the hatcher, so that they can dry off.